He's in my theater arts class. Oh, hello, Jessica. Coach Newton, you have the nicest, sweetest, most thoughtful son. Yeah. Way to get to know him. <laughs> Taylor's offered to teach me to drive. In fact, she's even taken me clear out to this place called Miller's Pond, so I won't have to learn in all this city traffic. Isn't that thoughtful? Yes, I'd say you put a lot of thought behind that. I don't know how I'm ever going to thank him. Well, I'm sure when he teaches you the park, something will come up. Well, uh, <laughs> we better uh, get our food and get going, you know? A picnic? Boy, he thought of everything. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Young love. Thank God I'm past it. Yeah, well, middle-aged love ain't no clam bake either. <laughs> Margaret gets home today from her sabbatical in Greece. Oh, I'm nervous. That's right. You two have been apart for three months. I would suggest that you do a little light stretching. <laughs> yeah. You know what they say. The longer the fuse has been burning, the brighter the fireworks. Oh, they're gonna be fireworks, all right. Especially when she finds out I'm a lust-crazed sex maniac who spent the summer <laughs> in the arms of another woman. <laughs> Got my front porch swing, a glass of lemonade. A baby on my knee, I think I got it made. You'd best be believing, I'm never leaving even shade. They got ten cent stores, no locks on the doors, and everybody knows your name. They got Sunday school, the golden rule, and every day that passes is slower than molasses, and you can't help but smile, lying in the shade. Come on down and you'll be glad you stayed. Don't talk about leaving. I'm never leaving in the shade. You better believe it. Maniac. Well, now I am interested. I'm in. My temptress was driving an ice cream truck. She's standing next to it, looking real cool in this white uniform. Took one look at me and said, Hey, handsome. <laughs> What you need? Well, I looked back at her kind of flirty like, and I said, hey, Shirley. I mean, I knew her name was Shirley because it was stitched right across her ample bosom. <laughs> I said, you can just give me a nutty buddy. Ooh, baby. <laughs> Every day I'd fight my way through a pack of preschoolers, and she'd be standing there holding my nutty buddy. <laughs> Yeah, that last day, I tell you, I was just wearing my swimming trunks. My body was glistening from sweat, PF-48 sunblock. <laughs> Woman leaned over and she kissed me. And I kissed her back. And she got back in her truck and drove out of my life forever. That's it? That's what this is all about, one kiss? What do you mean, that's it? Coach Margaret and I are engaged to be engaged. That's a sacred bond between two people, and I've defiled it. What am I going to say to the woman when I see her? Well, I'll tell you what to do. Lie. Lie like your life depended on it. Lie like a Persian rug. Lie. Lie, 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 lie. Oh, I don't lie. <laughs> really love Margaret. I think you should be honest with her. Now, Holland's advice sounds like the nonviolent approach, but if you're not going to lie, bring flowers. Oh, forget about the flowers. Go for a cheese wheel. <laughs> Nothing says I'm sorry like a big flock of Munster. What if this isn't the end of it? Guys, what if it turns out that Herman Stiles is a player? <laughs> well, then we'll all have to lock up our women and hold on to our nutty buddies. <laughs> Margaret, these are for you. Oh, Mr. Stiles, you shouldn't have. I, I don't deserve. Oh, gee. Oh, gee. Here. I brought you these from Greece. Dolmade. They're grape leaves stuffed with rice and chopped meat. Oh, Margaret, thank you. Nobody's ever given me chopped meat before. Well, I guess I better... Put those flowers in some water. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Margaret? Yes, Herman? How was Grace? Well, you know how it is when you 
go to a strange country sometimes. You try things you might otherwise have never have tried had you stayed home. Yeah, well, listen, Margaret. Herman, I was unfaithful to you this summer. You what? I kissed another man. Oh, I got separated from my group in Athens, and this nice Greek man, Apollo, he showed me around, and when we said goodbye, he kissed me. Margaret, what, what, he, kissed, he kissed you, Margaret, where? On the Acropolis. Oh, my God. Now, however, I think any true relationship has got to be based on honesty, and please, please, please let me explain. Explain what, Margaret? I mean, Margaret, we were engaged to be engaged. I know. I mean... Margaret, how could you run off to Greece like this and just start behaving like some kind of wild sex kid? It's not what you think. And then on top of that, you try to buy my affection and my forgiveness with some kind of Greek meatballs. Well, let me tell you something, Missy. Herman Styles don't come that cheap. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. <laughs> I'm taking my cheese. <laughs> Hello, Ava. I just stopped by to talk to Coach Newton for a moment. Oh, come on in. Well, actually, it's uh, it's kind of personal. Oh, well, I was just about to go do something in another room. What can I do for you, Margaret? Oh, Herman and I had an awful fight last night. Now he won't come to the door. He won't even answer the phone. And Frida said if I called one more time, she was going to reach out and punch somebody. <laughs> I assume she meant me. Well, she's probably just upset because you interrupted her shock treatment. I just think that if two people are truly in love, they should be able to forgive each other for one tiny indiscretion. Of course they should. So what if he kissed a good humor girl? He what? <laughs> <laughs> did I say, did I say that he kissed a good humor girl because I, I meant he missed a good humor girl like you, Margaret? Oh, that two-timing little worm. And he let me feel guilty about Apollo when he spent his summer chasing some, some popsicle floozy. You didn't hear from me, Margaret. Well, dude, I simply cannot believe the way you sold out Herman. That furry little man is supposed to be your friend. And you're supposed to be a woman. What's your point? I don't see what all the fuss is about. So Herman kissed another woman. Big deal. When I was at a medical conference in Abilene, I had a little lip lock with a nurse. Didn't hurt my marriage. Uh. I thought cleaning bedpans was the worst thing nurses had to do. Well, thank you, Coach Blabbermouth. <laughs> right when I'm ready to tell Margaret that I forgive her for that tawdry little European sex cafe to hers, she hauls off and hits me just as hard as she can right across my face. Then she suggests that I put a little something cold on my cheek, like ice cream. <laughs> Margaret's back? <laughs> I just slipped out. Oh, oh, Herman. Herman, I, I just heard about your heartbreak and humiliation. <laughs> I'm sure that Wood must have had a very good reason for stabbing you in the back like he did. Thank you. Yeah, well, I'm in the doghouse. Y'all can just call me Fido. Oh, Fido. <laughs> Margaret will forgive you. Her heart just needs time to heal. That's right, Fido. I mean... <laughs> Marlene forgave Harlan for kissing that nurse in Abilene. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did I say he kissed the nurse in Abilene? I meant to say... Harlan's sister in her purse has Maybelline. Harlan, you don't have a sister. <laughs> Maline, honey. 
It was nothing. <laughs> Maybe you should give Harlan a chance to explain. Oh, police, wake up. Smell the testosterone. <laughs> Sex grace cheating reptiles, his brains are in their hoo ha's. <laughs> Frida, there are plenty of decent, faithful men. Oh, that's right. Look at Wood. Yeah, Wood. Perfect example. Oh, ah! <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Oh, come on. That man is so sex crazy, you could strip him down and use him for a sundial. <laughs> does not mean that he is unfaithful. Well, of course it doesn't. Uh, well, look, look at all the opportunities he must have had when he was away playing football. I mean, all those, those cheerleaders and eager young groupies, not to mention just plain nymphomaniacs. <laughs> and he never even kissed one of them. Ava, you are so lucky. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Marlene. Of course. I believe that about Harlan, too. <laughs> Look how wrong I was. Well, oh. that's right, but all men cheat. <laughs> and they all lie about it. But, hey, you can always tell. Oh, they take you by the hand, and they look deep, deep into your eyes. Then they give that little innocent laugh. <laughs> Hey, sweetheart, trust me, never happened. <laughs> Hi, guys. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see, that's Margaret, Herman, Harlan, and Merlene. How many people does it take to form a lynch mob? <laughs> I guess that's enough. <laughs> All this over a silly little kiss. Yeah. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> Wood. Hmm? Never mind. No, what? No, 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 I was going to ask you something, but it's just too stupid. No, go ahead. No, no, no. No, go ahead. no, no, I, okay. <laughs> um, you know, when you were on the road with the team mm -hmm. and, and, and you had all those nights alone, did you ever have a silly little kiss? <laughs> Sweetheart, trust me, nothing ever happened like that. Get out! <laughs> Kind of ironic, eh, Fido? <laughs> yeah, I think we ought to strangle them with their flea collars. <laughs> Shut up, or I'll have you fixed. Hey. Down, 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 boys. Don't make me turn the hose on you. I didn't do anything. I mean, why did she throw me out? Why is Merlin making such a federal case out of this? Why is Margaret mad at me? I mean, it ends up we did the same thing. Well, maybe that's the reason men have a Y chromosome. So we could sit around our whole lives and ask, why? We should have a what chromosome, too. Like, what is her problem? Well, let's face it, gentlemen. It was over for us the minute the doctor slapped us on the butt and said, it's a boy. Why are women so crazy? What is their problem? Pull up a chair, Rover. Jessica is mad at me. She said that I was screaming at her. No, were you? No, she was about to back up onto the interstate. I wasn't screaming at her, I was just screaming. <laughs> Women. They make your life a living hell. And then you die six to eight years before they do. Ava, 
darling, you did the right thing. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, Aunt Frida. I just don't understand why some men think that, you know, they can get away with that. Well, look on the bright side. At least we outlive them. <laughs> I just want to thank you all for inviting me. It's not, not everyone who would shelter a fallen woman. Mm. Now listen here, little Miss Globetrotter. Since you brought it up, exactly how far have you fallen? Yeah, I was wondering about that too, but I threw wood out before I had a chance to ask. <laughs> it was all very unexpected. I was in one of those Greek markets checking my phrase book for a polite way to say, could you please move your goat downwind? And when I looked up, there was Apollo. You met a goat named Apollo? Now, ordinarily, I, I don't talk to strangers. But he had kind eyes and a friendly smile and the hard, chiseled body of a young Greek god. Oh, 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 oh that look has always worked for me. And he showed me around the city all day. And that night, he brought me to the Acropolis. And he took my face in his well-formed hands. And he said, Ephronisto. And he kissed me goodbye. Ephronisto? What does that mean? I have no idea. <laughs> oh. Oh. Mm. I once had a similar indiscretion. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Legendary star of stage and screen, Mr. Robert Goulet. <laughs> you and Robert Goulet? It was after a matinee of Camelot. And, well, he just looked so snug in those tights. <laughs> Later on, while Harlan was getting the car, I snuck back to the stage door, and Mr. Goulet kissed me right on the cheek. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it ended badly. When my sequin gown got caught on his card piece. <laughs> okay, okay. You want to talk indiscretion? All right, all right. One time, I was out in Hollywood, and I was partying with the cast of my three sons. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Underneath that apron, Uncle Charlie was all man. <laughs> well, it looks like we've all been a little guilty of having indiscretion. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at me. Oh, come on, Ava. It's just us girls. I mean, haven't you even been tempted by one of those good-looking, high-powered attorneys? <sighs> or, or handsome... Wrongly accused man that you wanted to help get off. <laughs> I mean, like, like, like Harrison Ford in a fugitive. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not at all. I'm sorry. It, it, it never happened. Oh, Ava, now you sounded just like Wood. I do, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> Will you stay here and watch the kids? Why, where are you going? Oh, to find my husband. Well, wait for me. And another thing, what's the big deal about toilet seats? <laughs> yeah, we don't complain when they leave them down. If you eat one up, you got an all-night lecture. <laughs> they fall in just one time and they act like you pushed them over the side of a boat. I'll tell you what really bugs me is the way they take forever to get ready in the morning. <laughs> so I've heard. I am sorry to interrupt, but it's 9 o'clock and I'm closing. There is an all-night diner out on Route 167 in case you haven't finished bonding yet. I'm running out of places to get thrown out of. Babes. I'm through with them. Wise choice, son. Yeah, I'm out, too. Taylor, I'm so...
sorry. I know I shouldn't have backed up on the interstate, but I thought a U-turn would be dangerous. <laughs> How about we drive real slow out to Miller's Pond? I borrowed my daddy's convertible. I'll let you take the top down. See you guys. The boy pulled it like a house of cards. Sure did. Come on out of here. Ah, you should be ashamed of yourself. I thought the Newton boys had spine. Ready, honey. You know, you gotta, you gotta believe me. That nurse had stopped breathing. I was giving her mouth to mouth. Uh, of course I believe you. A big, strong man like you would take any woman's breath away. <laughs> you know, I, I swear to you that from the first moment I ever saw you, I've never even looked at another woman. <laughs> this place is getting to be like the love boat. Oh. Where does that leave us? I don't know, Margaret. I've been thinking about it. You sorry you kissed that Greek fella? Herman, I wish I was, but I honestly can't say I am. Are you sorry you kissed that ice cream woman? No. Margaret, I can't honestly say that I'm sorry either. You know, being engaged to be engaged is a pretty serious commitment. <laughs> I guess maybe neither one of us is quite ready for it. I know. Maybe we both need to see other people for a while. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe we both need to see other people for a while. You got any plans on going back to Greece anytime soon? No. I think I pretty much had the full tour. <laughs> then maybe you could be the, one of the other people I see now and then. I'd like that. Me too. Sometimes two hearts find each other and need never look anywhere else. But some hearts need time to find themselves first. Tonight, those hearts are a little sadder, but still hopeful in a place called Evening Shade. Well, if you think you have all the answers to raising kids, chances are you've got a lot to learn. Take a peek at Dave's World, starring Harry Anderson. Critics are calling it the best new series on television. An all-new Dave's World is next. This is CBS.